should skateboarding be sketchy? Now, hear me out for a second. In early skate videos, there were often badly landed tricks, toe touches, tic tacs, all that type of stuff, but they were pushing boundaries and being creative. Are we missing out now? If you've ever watched a skate video from the early 90s, you know exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about. They would often have tricks in the parts that are so badly landed that you might not even consider it a land. And fast forward 15 years, and you got guys like P-Rod who would only publish a clip if the trick in it was landed perfectly. But the thing is, back in the day, that sketchy trick may have been the first time that trick was ever done before. So would we be missing out on seeing something new in that case? Like, let's take a look at Sean Sheffy. This is in the questionable video from Plan B. You've got this kinked 50-50 on a handrail where he takes his foot off. And then you've got this half cab late shove it down some stairs. The clip cuts really quickly. I'm pretty sure he steps off and it doesn't actually count. But I had never seen that trick before this point and I'm not sure I've seen it since then. So are we missing out on some skateboard entertainment by cutting out all these tricks. If they had cut down this video to only be the perfect tricks, would the video be better or not? I wanna look at some specific examples and see if we can come up with an answer for this. The first example is obviously Rodney Mullen because he was known for putting some sketchy tricks in his parts before. Uh, for example, the impossible late vario flip that he did. Now, I don't know if he could have done this better. Could he have ever landed that bolt in perfectly? Probably not but I'm still glad that I saw that trick. I got to see that something like that is even possible. So that was pretty cool. But he's always debuting something new. For example, this 720 shove it, maybe the world would have never known that that trick was possible because he kick turned a bit at the end. Or the first ever triple kick flip on camera, that was pretty sketchy too, so we have to cut that clip. So in that case, we would probably be missing out as skate culture not having to see these tricks and knowing that they could be done. But let's look at PJ Ladd. His part in A Wonderful Horrible Life has all kinds of new combos and it's almost always perfectly clean, but he's got this weird line with some toe flips in it. Now he doesn't even land the second one, but at least for me personally, I didn't know that that trick existed until I saw this part. So that trick could have died out if this sketchy bad clip was not used. Now you might argue that it's fine to lose toe flips, but here is a second one. He has uh, just a bail in his part where he does this no slide nolly front foot flip out of it. Um, and it's just such an amazing trick that they decided to put that in there even though he didn't land it. But did that inspire the next skater to try something like that and maybe come up with something new? Was it worth having in there um, for skate culture? Did it make things better? Um, having that trick in there. Um, and it's interesting to think about what was left. Uh, for example, he's got a front blunt to fake E50. Maybe he got a kickflip out of that, but he didn't land it perfectly. And so they threw away the clip. Would the part have been better with that? In this case, the fact that he does so many completely different things and does it all so clean is part of what makes it such a classic part. And in this case, I think having tricks be a little bit tougher but a little bit sketchier would have made it worse. But there is one more example, but first I wanna thank Carrick Austin, who is probably a real name, who submitted this question on radratvideo.com. You can submit questions there with a form on the homepage and you can buy shirts. If you are a XL or a double XL, please pick up a shirt, they're 10 bucks. I am very overstocked on those sizes. But our last example is Andy Anderson. And his part, Crazy Wisdom, has a lot of innovative new stuff in there, tricks that you haven't ever seen before. And I saw a video, I believe it was Dan Corrigan, but don't quote me on that, but it was somebody who was there when Andy was doing uh, one of the tricks that ended up being in his part. And he said that he landed it like a hundred times. He did it over and over and over, was trying to make sure he landed it completely perfect. What if, instead of putting all that effort into landing it perfectly, he put all that effort into doing something a little bit harder? So like crazy dark slide he does, maybe instead of just a shove it out, he did a big spin out. Would that have been better? But not just doing the, a trick that he does, but a little bit tougher, but something all new. Maybe he has a clip of some crazy idea he, he came up with, but he can never get it quite right. It would be really interesting to know what we missed out on because it wasn't perfect. So do you, do you think it's worth missing out on some stuff so that the part ends up looking better? To me, when I first started 
uh, thinking about this, I was sure I was gonna come out on the side of a little bit of sketchy is better because then we're seeing some new things. But rewatching PJ Ladd uh, and seeing how perfect that was, that part would not have been as classic as it was if there was some tic tacs and some sketchiness uh, here and there. I prefer that it was high speed and clean and perfect and I really prefer the way that things are now. But if you disagree with that, let me know in the comments.